Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Painkiller, the Black Edition. Now this game is actually from 2004 and so far, at least to my knowledge, there's about 7 installments of this game. Now this game is literally no more and no less than just shoot them up. It's a horde mode, you versus everyone, you have some special abilities and powers and a variety of weapons. Also what you have is this glitch on, uh, well, main screen of the game. Uh, <laughs> You have two frames, okay? And this is due to the fact that we're playing in 4K. If you play on anything below 4K, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Now, the problem with this is, as you can see, navigating the menu is a little bit of a PowerPoint slideshow. However, in-game options are absolutely fine, like the game itself runs fine once you actually suffer through this. Now, I kind of trying to get into the options so I can show you guys what we're gonna be playing here and as you can see we're absolutely cool once we get further in so we're going with a 4k native uh, everything is gonna be maxed out as much as we can alter settings everywhere and this is like as much as i can max the game out so when it comes to this game do not be tricked by the way it looks it's actually pretty much a, a very good game for time killing so to say and uh, yeah let's just uh, have a little look see if i can finally manage to get in there. I know there are some of the fixes that actually fixes the low FPS on a starting menu screen. I've tried some of them. Perhaps it's the launcher that I'm using that's the problem that the fixes do not help. I'm using a GOG or good old games launcher. This game was available on Steam as well and there's uh, full of forums of things what and how to do but yeah none of these actually worked for me. So we're gonna sign the pact uh, and we're gonna just uh, have a little go so you will see. Audio wise there's nothing to hear, nothing to write home about so audio is down to the bare minimum. But uh, it's more about the frames and how it looks because to be fair back in the day I could not max this game out in uh, 4k obviously so that was one of the things I kind of always wanted to do. So let's see how it looks. So you're having this uh, low resolution intro screen which kind of explains the story behind uh, of your main protagonist and how he ended up where he is. And to be fair, there's not really too much of a story. So basically your guy in here kind of does a lot of bad things, dies, goes to hell, gets a second chance if he kills the demons. If he kills the demons he can redeem himself and go into the heaven and whatnot. And that's pretty much all there is. The game is not really story driven, so to say. It's more about level after level, killing all the enemies. You have some little, very unimportant boss fights and it's just straight through progression for it. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to. So we're gonna go with our first chapter, which is the cemetery. And as you can see, there's a couple things you can do. You have the monsters, the souls collected and the gold you can find. Armors, holy items, and you know, something like good old Doom, basically. And the the whole point is, once you collected enough souls, I do believe it was about 600 or something, you can enter a demon mode. And then your weapons have more damage, like one shot, one kill, which is very good and useful against the bosses or the tougher enemies. And usually you're not gonna use it because you're kind of saving those souls for the later time, but then you just spend it anyway. So anyway, uh, apart from that, let's just jump in and uh, see how this all looks and runs. I mean, it looks and runs exactly as the game from 2004. And this is how it looks. As you can see, we are way above 500 frames, so, you know, you can't really complain about it. And the gun we currently use have uh, alternate modes. So this is some sort of ray of god light that if any mob will actually cross it, it will burn and die. Which will help us immensely for the hordes. Now we just need to wait until the first enemies come out to play. So let's just uh, give take this for a spin. I think we need a line of sight here. And yeah, basically this is how it goes. You do have some pretty interesting and I would say doom-like music choice here. So you know, if upbeat music choices for hordes of enemies but in general you just do this you just smash them all up uh, weapons are being acquired by finding them so we're just gonna go and pick up a shotgun real quick and boom it's a double barrel which uh, to be fair for this difficulty is an overkill as you can see we have two ammo types we have the regular 56 uh, slugs and we have the freezing element, which would be the alternate fire. 
So that's pretty much all there is. Now, when it comes to this game itself and why we don't have it anymore, well, for the time it came out, it was kind of expected to have this sort of games and the gameplay mechanics, but it got outdated pretty quickly with literally anything else that came out in between. The fans of the franchise was still kind of like waiting for next installments, but even now, replaying this game, and I played this game immensely back in the day, I kind of see the point why nobody actually remembers this game. It's kind of very simple, you know, like aim and shoot, and that's about it. And it's not exactly a bad thing per se when you think about it. It's just one of those things, really. So, yeah. I don't know. There we go. Now, the, in the later levels, you will actually have a lot of mobs swarming you. We're talking like in hundreds. So, it's not like you can actually say it's... There's a lack of enemies. Variety of enemies depends on the level. You will have some that actually do have some very annoying abilities against you. But then again, you have an ever-expanding arsenal like these witches, for instance, right? So... It's, it's just one of those things, really. Like, as you can see, you clear an area, you go into the next one, and the fun continues. Or the grind. Depends how you want to look at it, really. When it comes to the skill requirement for this game, the only skill you need is actually to have a mouse and ability to aim to... an approximate direction of your enemies. That's that's pretty much all there is, really. The souls that you're collecting will also give you health in the bottom left. As you can see, we have 124. And that's it. Like, that, that, that is literally it. And I, I saw some gold here, which I blew up a bit, but hey. I don't know, I would say for, for its time, this was a pretty simple game, really, and it never tried to be anything else, but yeah, I, I kind of can see why people are not remembering this game. Or even if you do remember that this is going to be one of those uh, games where you go like, oh yeah, I remember this, but uh, I probably will never ever play this again. Also... I don't know, it's, it's it's kind of weird when it comes to these games that we used to actually like a lot. And now we just don't have them anymore. You do get more exciting exotic weapons uh, down the line uh, in these games, but it's more about, you know, just having fun. And if this is your idea of fun, you will be having it. If not, well, then probably you won't. I don't know, this, this is very hard to actually talk about these old games because they're not overcomplicated. You don't have any skill trees, you don't have anything else you can do in this, it's just more about... Go shoot them up. It's, it's literally just shoot them up title and it does its job perfectly. And again, in comparison to anything else that we've seen from the old games like, I don't know, the Halo for instance, that was heavily story driven game. And for us now it's just more about, you know, progression, achievements. There's no achievements in this game. You can find some hidden areas if you look for them, but ultimately there's nothing to it. Also about getting lost, if you notice this spearhead or the arrow at the top, this is actually shows you direction of your objectives or at least the last enemies to clear the level. Once you've done that, the game will basically tell you what where to go next. So getting lost is pretty much impossible here. And yeah, to be fair, it's uh, kind of nice to see that this game runs with these frames 4k but at the same time i'm not really surprised uh in regards to the game developer this is actually made by the company called people can fly 
which in my opinion was one of the good devs back in the day at least so all the things they made were kind of very bare bones and simple but it always worked never had a single issue with their games which uh, I cannot say for something like Ubisoft for instance so there's that and a little bit of back and forth And here we go, a new area again. A bit more of these mobs, so let's just slice and dice them up. Currently this game actually sells for about uh, two pounds, which might be about two and a half dollars, or maybe three if you look hard enough, but... I don't know. If, if I had to say, do you need to play this game, I would probably say no, unless you play this game extensively and you have some nostalgia feeling for it. Which I had for a brief moment when I saw it on sale, I got it and then I was like, oh well, right. It's, uh, it's probably not the best decision in my life to actually have this game, but at the same time, I cannot really say that this is a waste of time. I would say this is just a waste of nostalgia. Some games should be just left where they are, you know, in your memory, that there was a game like this and you're just happy about it. But yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to remind you guys that uh, sometimes the good old games actually were good and old. Or you, you kind of know what I meant with that, right? And here we have a little bit of a boss fight here. You know, just quickly dispatch of all these enemies. Which is gonna be never ending spawn. At the same time, as I said, these souls are giving you the health you need to survive for prolonged periods of time. And you can just shoot them up. As I said, this is the whole premise of the game. There's, there's, it's, just, it's just what it is, you know. I'll just get behind this dude and... Uh, Kind of burn them up a bit. And that's the level cleared. So as you can see, nothing terrible. I took my time, which is 8 minutes. I'm pretty sure you can actually do this in less than 5. If you paid attention or you played it previously. And yeah, that's all there is. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Over and out.